so uh, at Nato, we're retrofitting uh, AI and computer vision to vehicles. And I want to tell you a little bit about how big a difference that can make and uh, why some of what the last speaker, if you were here for that session, talked about is in fact the case. You can make incredibly challenging algorithms actually lightweight enough to run in a retrofit uh, mobile phone type environment. But first, how many of you own a car? <laughs> the funny question here in Santa Clara where you have to drive to get to this place, right? So pretty much all of you. And most of you probably bought your car to drive it. Is that right? Safe assumption? I have news for you. You actually bought your car to park it. Because that is what you do 96% of the time. Of the 4% of the time that you're in your car, half of it is looking for parking or stuck in traffic. So you get about 2, 2.3%, 2.5% use out of your car. Not very fabulous for a $20 trillion investment globally that we make in vehicles. We also burn a lot of fuel, unless you're driving electric, then you're good. Uh, but if you're driving anything internal combustion, only 1% of the energy or 1% of the oil you put in your car actually moves you forward from A to B. The rest is all waste. We also use our infrastructure very sparsely. At peak loading, which is about 2,000 cars per lane per hour, you get 10% coverage of the road. Here in Silicon Valley, that happens a bit more often, but nationwide, that only happens about 5% of the time. We get it about 10% of the time, but we get a lot of time where throughput breaks down because it's traffic jam. So that's a half a percent utilization. And then we kill 33,000 people every year. If this were a disease, it'd be all over the news as an epidemic. It's much more serious than terrorism, much more serious than Zika or any of the other things that people are currently worrying about. So transportation today, in a word, it sucks. We have 99% waste in the entire system. And it really costs us $3 per mile. The reason you don't know that number is you only pay about a dollar per mile. The other dollar you pay indirectly through your taxes in terms of infrastructure that we build for cars. And the third dollar is unpriced externalities, like the days that you're off work after you got into an accident, the time that you waste while you're in congestion, all of those losses. So really, it's about $3 per mile all in. And I want to show you what difference deep learning and embedded vision can make to actually begin to tackle all of these issues, at least in part and to do so relatively quickly.